guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're we're doing something I'm really I'm really super excited for. We are reviewing a oil gift box by Trakel. And what has happened is that Trakel came to me and they were like, "Hey, would you like to review something on our website?" And of course, I like to review things, so I said, "Of course, I would love to." And they gave me the option to pick out whatever I wanted on their website to review on my YouTube channel. And you better believe I spent the longest time going through their entire website looking through for something that I think would interest you guys. And honestly, I think I found the perfect item. I got the oil gift box. And I was super excited. So. First of all, this has like a ton of different supplies in it. Second of all, if I got this for my birthday, if I got it for Christmas, or just as a gift from someone, I would be so happy. <laughs> like, I couldn't imagine getting a different gift and being happier than I would with this gift box because Within the box are a whole bunch of different items that you would need to start oil painting. And all of the supplies seem to be, we're getting into that later in the view, review, but they all seem to be really awesome items that you would definitely want in your studio. It's not like one of those cheap boxes from the store that have really horrible quality items like every item in there looks so good so i picked out the oil gift box and i picked out the one with the paint so there, it comes with and without paint which i think is very interesting because first of all i love that they do this i think it's a really great idea because without the paint you don't have to pay as much but if you want the paint you know you have that option and they pick out four colors for you. So this is good because if you have a different brand oil paint, you already have oil paints in general, or you have Gamblin Artist colors and you happen to have some of those colors on hand, you know, you don't have to double up or get more paint that you don't need and pay that price. But the option's still there. So I think that's really super cool. Even if it didn't come with paint, because I got the one with paint, obviously. Even if I didn't get the one with paint, it still comes with so many really awesome items that you can try and you can use. And almost all of them you can reuse, except for the painting surface, obviously. You're going to have a finished piece by the end of your painting session. But everything else you can continue using for extremely long period of time. And I guess we'll get into that after I explain what's in the box. So this gift box includes six different brushes and they have different hair on them and they have 10 inch handles. So we have a number two round golden tacklon brush, a number six bright golden tacklon brush, number six filbert red sable brush, number two filbert legion brush, number two hog bristle filbert, and a number six hog bristle filbert. So there's different kinds of brushes, different shaped brushes, but they're all around the same size that you would need to paint on the panel that is included in this set. And that's one panel of oil linen, and that is five by seven inches. So it's a pretty small surface. This is a gift box. It's not like everything you would need to paint 500 murals, you know, it's, it's a gift box set. So we have like this nice size panel and all these brushes fit beautifully for the size panel that you have. And if you're used to making larger paintings, that's totally cool because you can use these brushes to detail your larger paintings or you can use them to create smaller paintings. So I found that the size of the brushes were extremely helpful and I really liked the sizes that they included and the types of brushes that they included as well. Um, so then you get the six brushes, the work surface, the panel, you get a four ounce container of linseed soap, oil soap, 
and that's like really large. <laughs> it's pretty big. Um, you also get a three and a half ounce jar of brush restore, which is effectively a conditioner for your brushes after you clean them. It helps them maintain their shape and the helps them, how do I explain this? It's almost like every time you take out your brush and use it again, it feels like brand new. So the brush conditioner is really awesome and the soap is really awesome. It comes with a sticker, which is pretty cool, but I mean, you know, stickers are awesome. I like stickers. But if you get, and that's that's it, but if you get the one with the oil paint, you get four tubes of oil paint. And they are by Gamblin, they're artist colors. They are 37 milliliters. You get quinacridone red, Hansa yellow light, ultramarine blue, and titanium zinc white. I also asked Trekel to kind of include some reading information that wouldn't readily be on their products. This is just pamphlets and stuff that talk about companies. So I have one from Trekel and I also have one from Gamlin. Usually at this point in the video, after I go over what we're going to review, I'll read what's on the product itself. So I'll read labeling, what's on the box, what's on the items themselves. But something that I've noticed is that nowhere on the product advertising does it really tell you what anything's going to do. And obviously when you buy a brush, you know you're buying a paintbrush, right? Or when you buy soap, you're buying it to clean your brushes. But I've noticed that this company makes absolutely no promises about anything. They list their items as basically it is what it is. It has the name of what it is, the brush restore, but that's about all it says. They, a lot of companies will go into advertising and saying like, oh, you can blend and layer colors and blah, 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 and the flexible nib will blah, 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 you know? But Nowhere on any of this do I see any advertising, which I think is very interesting. The most amount of information I can really glean from anything is that the panel talks a little bit, the work surface, the surface you're painting on, will tell you a little bit about what exactly it is. So it says that the panel is aluminum composite material. It's an artist panel and it's oil primed linen and it has the size written on the ticket here. Other than that, they really don't get into anything specific. They just really tell you what it is. Brush restore, linseed, oil soap, and this oil primed linen um, aluminum composite material artist panel. Basically what this means is that I'm just gonna look at the product and tell you if I think it's awesome or not. And long story short, I loved every single item in this gift box. I think that they were all amazing <laughs> and they make no promises but and they Honestly, they make no promises and they don't hype up their products enough because they're really great. And I just, I think that's very interesting because it comes across as a very humble sort of product and it's so, it's so high quality and, but they don't, they don't play it up like, and be like, oh yeah, you can do this and it restores your brushes like brand new, but like no one does that. And I just... I thought that was odd because most companies I work with will boast and brag about how amazing their products are and then you use them and you're like well I don't know if this lives up to the hype or like does it do exactly what it says it's gonna do this makes no promises and it doesn't hype itself up but it's really really good like the brushes were amazing the soap was great the restore was great and and the work surface I I thought was amazing and Gamblin makes wonderful oil paint so I was I wasn't really like 
thinking that I would have to critique that because Gamblin is a very well-known brand and their product is really great. So I already knew that the paint that I was gonna get was gonna be a really good brand. It was gonna be good paint and it was. So I just thought it was so interesting that it was just, it has like no promises and they don't brag or like think that their product is, I mean, I'm sure they believe in their product and they think it's a great product, but they don't hype it up for the buyer so that the buyer's like, oh, the guy, they think it's so amazing. I better get this. So that was something that I noticed that I just thought was, that was very interesting and kind of humble. And I just thought that was kind of cool. I'm just gonna go through real quick and I'm gonna list off the different items and give a quick sort of what I think of them. So the six brushes with the 10 inch handles with the different brush hairs and everything. Like I said earlier, they were great sizes. They had a great shape. They had great snap back. They just, they, they were a pleasure to use and I really enjoyed them. And I want them to last a really long time because I like them so much. And that kind of goes into what I said earlier about you can continue using the items in the gift box for many years to come because you receive the linseed oil soap, which does an amazing job of cleaning the brushes. I mean, it smells kind of like pine trees or something rustic, which is really weird because um, I'm the daughter of a landscaper. So when I opened up the linseed oil soap, I'm kind of like, wow, it smells like home, <laughs> which was really bizarre. My dad always had a ton of trees in the backyard and I would play out there. I mean, obviously there were a lot of ticks, so I had to be checked when I came back inside, but it reminded me a lot of my childhood, which was crazy because like when you just smell something and you're like, oh, it smells like home, you know? So the soil, the soil, the soap acted really well. It cleaned the brushes, all the paint out of the brushes, the brushes ran clean. Um, it, it was really efficient. It worked really well. I really liked it. Um, one thing I did notice about the oil soap was that there was a triangle in the middle of the soap dish. And I hadn't noticed it at the time. Now this was kind of like a indentation where it was kind of gouged out in a triangle I just thought this was kind of weird because like I don't know why there's this triangle of missing soap. It wasn't necessarily very deep, but it looked like part of the soap was missing. And I contacted the marketing department. I was like, hey, do you know why there's this hole, this triangular hole? It was not very deep, but still like there's an impression. I'm like, I don't get where the soap went. Or like, is this normal or? And they said, oh, we just impress our logo into the soap, which made so much more sense because what happens is I was looking at the logo and it was at a certain angle and I didn't really necessarily think of it as a triangle. And when I opened up the soap, it was at an angle. So it looked exactly like a triangle to me. And I didn't make that association. So you're not getting any less soap you're still getting four ounces of soap. It just has the logo impressed into it. And that was just the one thing I was thinking like, this is kind of odd. And I remember opening it up on my live stream and I showed everyone, I'm like, what's this triangle doing here? And where did the soap go that was in the triangle? But other than that, I had no problem with the soap. It lathered up, it cleaned the brushes. Um, it was great. And then I used the brush restorer because I did my painting in two sessions. So I cleaned up my brushes at the end of session one. And then at the very end, I used the brush restorer. And this stuff smells so good. I actually, on Twitter, I, uh, what, what do they say, tweeted at? I tweet, tweeted, <laughs> Trakel. And I was like, you guys need to make shampoo or something, because I would buy it. This stuff smells really good. And you dip your brush in it and um, you kind of can shape your brush and let it dry before using it again. And the next time you go to use your brushes, they're like brand new. 
they're like exactly how they came out from the package. And I know this because I've painted before and brushes tend to kind of, uh, especially up by the ferrule, um, it gets very difficult to kind of clean your brushes and that's where most of the damage takes place, I feel. So after several uses, you'll notice like, hey, this is starting to get kind of weird or whatever because you're having a difficult time cleaning your brush. And I've used this, actually I've used the oil soap, I've used the brush restore, and I've used the brushes that they gave me for other paintings since I made this one. And the brushes are still basically like brand new, where some of my other brushes aren't, and they very quickly kind of became damaged. So this, these products really do help um, protect your, your brushes that you invest in. So if you have expensive brushes, you don't want to replace them as often. The linseed oil soap and the brush restore are great. Also, please keep in mind that these are for the oil gift box. So this is linseed oil soap. What this means is that simply it's intended for oil paint. It's for cleaning oil paint off of your brushes. So if you're using water-based media, you should use a different product. And I looked into Trekel's website, they have coconut oil soap. The brush restorer, however, you use that after you clean your brush with the appropriate soap, and then you use the brush restorer, and that can be used on whatever. You just have to clean it with the proper soap first. So these things are re reusable, excuse me, you get a lot in each container and they work really, really well. Next order of business, I'm gonna talk about the artist panel that was included. I feel like this has ruined me and <laughs> I guess I'll explain that, but I feel like if I had to use any of the other painting surfaces that I have in my house now, I just feel like it's going to be a disappointment. I, I love the, the the linen surface, it was so nice. And I mean, I love that it is, it's on a panel, it's stiff, it's going to last, it's been primed, it's all ready for painting, and it's just, it was just a pleasure. And now I feel like if I ever like paint with oils, I'm gonna have to go and buy a whole ton of these surfaces and work on them because now, now I'm spoiled. <laughs> Thanks, Trickel. Thanks. And I guess that just really leaves me with the Gamblin Artist Colors, which are a well-known brand and they're great. <laughs> they're wonderful and they're a pleasure to paint with and the colors are beautiful and they feel real nice, they look beautiful and they are also life fast and I mean, they're just pretty awesome. So there's that. Now, you might say, okay, Lemmy, you've just said a whole bunch of really great things about this gift box and you're just saying these nice things but what's wrong with it and honestly I thought really hard about what I can say that's not nice and I got nothing I mean it's it might be kind of expensive for you because I know if you're starting out funds are tight it wouldn't be too expensive for me to purchase you know, now that I'm an adult, but if you're a student, it might be on the steep side for you. So you'd might want to get it as a gift from your parents or something. On the website, it says, without buying the Gamblin oil paint, the supplies in the box from Trakel are $71.99. And if you get it with the paint, it's $121.99. So it's kind of steep. But once again, it's all artist quality supplies. And they're all really, really super great. And now I'm spoiled. So 
It could be that you wouldn't want to spend the money on it. But as someone who does art stuff for a living and is an adult and doesn't have the expenses or like, you know, I have a job. It's not that I didn't have a job because a lot of students don't have jobs. So I could afford it. But if you're a student, you might want to ask, if you really want this, you might want to ask for a gift from a family member or something or suggest it and see how that goes. Other than that, there's really like no other drawbacks. What I will say is that if you want to start oil painting and you start off with this and you want to really kind of get into it a little bit more, but you're still unsure if you want to like get a ton of supplies, but you start off with this gift box, I suggest you also get a tube of black paint and also some paint thinner. So I told Traquel that they might have to wait a bit because I was going to buy some Gamzol, which is odorless spirits. And um, it's the brand made by Gamblin. So I said I was gonna order some of that so that I could like clean my brushes better and thin the paint and whatever. And I didn't have any on hand, so I was gonna order some. And they very generously gave me a little bottle of that for free, which was really nice of them. But I suggest that if you wanna get, you don't need it, need it, but it makes your life a lot easier. So I would get, in addition to this, a little bottle of Gamzol and also a tube of black paint because when you're mixing the three colors that you have and white, well, I mean, obviously in this example, you're not gonna put the white in, but you're mixing the three colors you have. You can only get your paint to a certain depth or darkness because you just can't get it any darker. And if I had some black paint, I could mix that in. And I'm not saying like use it straight out of the tube or stuff like that, but it would have helped get a lot more depth in my picture. And I just felt frustrated that I couldn't get my uh, paints any deeper or darker. And But that these are things that honestly have nothing to do for what, it, what you're buying, but suggestions I would make based on using this set. And it's not like I was gonna go out and buy another tube of gambling paint because that's not what's included in the gift box. But uh, those are my suggestions. And then there are other supplies that, I mean, this is if you're just starting, you don't have anything, you probably would want a palette an easel, um, and I suggest a, a silicoil jar, which is a jar that has a metal coil in it, and you can clean your brushes on that. It makes life super easy. And if you have a palette, I recommend it's glass, and you have a glass scraper. So there are certain things that you need to get started with oil painting, and I know that oil painting can seem scary because you know, there's a lot of things out there that say it can be dangerous, but that's only if you don't take the proper precautions. And I guess I could make a whole different video about that, but this was extremely enjoyable. There was nothing dangerous about it. I mean, I'm not going to eat the paint. You know, I'm not gonna slather it on a sandwich. So it's not, it's not scary. Um, you just need to kind of know what you're getting into and just research it before you do it. So I think if you guys really want to get started, but you want, you know, you've done art before, you've painted before, and you want to get something quality, you could definitely get this set. It's wonderful. I thought it was really great. Um, I know I don't really, I don't think I've done any oil painting on this channel. Maybe I've done acrylics with it. I usually do watercolor and gouache painting. So I know I don't go into this very much and I could probably make more videos about it and telling you things that I've learned about oil paint and stuff. But this I think is a very nice high quality 
high quality, nice gift box that you can use. On the flip side, if you're not looking to start oil painting, but you do it all the time and you just really want some high quality, nice supplies, you can get the version that doesn't have the paint. It is cheaper and it still comes with a whole bunch of really useful, helpful items that you can use for a long period of time. I want to give a shout out to Trakel though, because their marketing department, the people I spoke to were super nice and they really struck me as a company that's kind of by artists, for artists, and they're super involved in the art community and they're always promoting different artists on their social media and many of their products that they have, like brush sets and stuff like that, they were hand-picked by professional artists. So they have a whole bunch of different personal selections by different well-known artists and I just thought that was really cool um, yeah I, I think their company just seems like really honestly really great and um, if you want to check out their website I will have their link in the description below so you can go over there show them some love look through their products see if they're for you what you might want. You might not want the gift box, but maybe you're like, hey, those brushes look really awesome. Maybe I want that. So if there are other products or anything like the quality of what was in the gift box, I honestly don't think anyone will be disappointed. I think they'll be rather happy with their purchases. Real quick, I just want to apologize that this video went on for way too long. I hope that you guys found this useful or helpful, and I hope that maybe it opened up your mind to trying a new medium or something like that. And I think it's great when people kind of go out of their comfort zone sometimes and they try something new. And I say that only because I haven't oil painted on my channel, and maybe this, maybe, maybe this will make you want to try oil painting or something like that. And I'll talk to you guys next week in another art video. You guys take care of yourselves. Once again, I'm so sorry that this went on for so long. You guys take care of yourselves.